We're going to try and move a little quicker now that we are in this position. I'm going to get a frag on that propane tank. Because I like explosions. This is a terrible map, man. I'm not going to lie. Man, only having two guys is, is rough right now. We really need someone watching our rear. We need someone watching long. And then we need two people to take this room. Welcome to the next part of our Iron Man playthrough on Door Kickers 2. Uh, we've finished the first two campaigns. We're now on to the Never See and Never Be missions. Um, so there are five missions here. Um, they're supposed to be done with like the Black Ops CIA uh, faction. But we're doing our run through with the Rangers. So we're going to go ahead and continue to use the Rangers. It's going to make these extremely difficult because we're supposed to be stealthy. Um, but there's not really a way for us to be stealthy because we got freaking Jack Rangers running around on level 4 plates. Um, so they're going to start shooting as soon as they see us. So um, drop a comment down below if you'd like to try, like me to try and do the Iron Man playthrough with like the CIA guys the whole time. That might be an interesting uh, way to play through. But regardless, right now we're just using our Rangers. So Jones and Garcia were injured in the last mission. So we're not going to be using them today. Uh, we've just got two two assaulters here. We need to extract the VIP. Um, and then there's no other information given to us at all. So we've got this VIP down here. We have to get to him before we can tell him to follow us out. And this is going to be our only exit. So we'll go ahead and get started with these two guys. Um, We'll go ahead and start silent um, because stealth to contact is always the name of the game. I have a feeling we're going to get contacted uh, very quick here, seeing as how these dudes can see us like just as we roll up. So that's going to be interesting. We'll go ahead and plop down and see what happens. Okay, so he doesn't see me, but we can shoot him. So we've got a freaking maze of fences here so we can see through these fences doesn't look like we can see through these fences um, got some dead space in here still this is a little gate so we can see through that um, all right well let's pull him over to here I'd like to try and get as much view over there as possible okay let's say that's pretty much cleared out let's see what we can see around this way with our next guy we should probably go ahead and get him set up to take shots if he needs to fire around this a little bit Okay, uh, so we took shots there. We've got the front doors, looks like. So maybe just had a sentry there in the front. Um, let's press him up so he can see a little better. Okay, there's multiple, multiple enemies there. Uh, let's quickly get him over to here. Clear out the rest of that along the way. Okay, that's cleared out now. So I'm confident that this area is cleared. Let's go ahead and they know that we're here. We can get off silent mode. I am nervous to toss a grenade over here. Let me see if he can throw a grenade. Okay, he can throw a grenade. That'll reach that. We'll throw a grenade with him. So the reason I have this guy throw instead of him, he's obviously got a better angle out here. Um, but if in the process of throwing this grenade some more dudes come around the corner and start shooting at him, uh, he's screwed. He's got his gun down. So we'll toss the grenade with Brimmer. Make a big explosion there on that propane tank. And we'll let this breathe for a second. Alright. Um, I'm worried about all this space up here if there's more guys about to be coming from this direction. 
Going through the front door sounds terrible. Um, with only two guys. And obviously this is like an enemy compound. So I'd like to clear from the exterior of the structure if I can. I really should have brought someone with a wall charge. Um, so that's poor, poor planning on my side. Because it doesn't look like there's any windows here. Um, so I'm going to get Cobra over here quickly. I'm going to want him to sprint. Okay. And you can walk now. Let's have you start working on this door. I'm not sure. I, okay, that front door opened up. So they must have been shooting at us through there. Um, so we will We'll go ahead and have you continue to watch here. We're going to move our way up. Okay. And that's why we keep our rear coverage. We'll go ahead and set him to right there. That's a good angle for him. And we'll go ahead and continue to clear the outside here. Continue to watch this way for me, bud. All right, so he'll watch this direction. Uh, we want to slowly take this. The farther we stay off of this cover, um, the better angle we're going to have in here. So we'll continue moving. Okay, so that's cleared. Go ahead and keep moving up. Now we're watching this way. Okay, and we'll pause there. Um, I'm going to just peek this real quick. Okay. And we've got a grunt insurgent hanging out on some barrels, so we're gonna not we're gonna not fight that as we immediately get injured. So I'm gonna bring him around. Um, he'll continue to watch our backs. Yeah, that that sounds terrible right there. So, we'll go ahead and have him continue to watch our back. Um, we'll have him jump over. Watch forward while he jumps over. Okay, now we'll switch. Then have him watch in here. While he starts to move up. I'm gonna try and clear from the outside as much as we can before we make entry. Well, okay. This. Okay, finally we got a door, reinforced door. So we'll have to blow that. Okay, window. Windows cleared. All right, we're going to have to have you help us out now. We're going to give up our rear coverage there. Uh, so in the real world, well, in the real world, we would not be doing this how we're doing this. But uh, hopefully, if someone does run out from around here, we're going to have a minute of hearing them running up behind us. So we're going to try and move a little quicker now that we are in this position. I'm going to get a frag on that propane tank. Because I like explosions. And we'll go ahead and get a frag into this room as well. But we are going to want to pull back so that we don't get injured. So we get a frag in here. Okay, that's going to be on the very edge of us possibly getting injured. So we'll throw it and we'll take a step back. See what we're working with in there now. Uh, looks like we did make a hole in the structure up there. Once again, pie this off a little bit. I'm going to go ahead 
can pull him up to here. Okay, that's a closed door. Now you need to look at it. Because now it's an open door. Okay, perfect. He's coming out. Alright, we're both injured now. So that's not good, but... We're doing okay. Let's let this breathe for another second. And it looks like now we'll be able to make entry in here. So I'm going to put my plates here. Look deep into that structure while he makes entry. This is a terrible map, man. I'm not going to lie. Alright. So we're going to have to have one person hold long while he takes this room. So we'll have him continue to hold long while he makes entry into the room. Okay. Only got 10 rounds left. I'm going to hold for a second, see if anyone else runs out. And then I'm going to do a mag change. Okay, this is a window, so I don't think enemies will hop windows. So I am quickly just going to clear out some more of this. Um, but then we're going to continue in this direction. Alright, let's get a flash into here. So we're going to push. Looks like he's going to have to take this angle. Oh, he holds this. Okay. We've got a... Man, only having two guys is, is rough right now. We really need someone watching our rear. We need someone watching long. And then we need two people to take this room. But I'm going to go ahead and keep Cobra watching our back here. I think he might be able to kick this door on his own. I'm going to swing that door open. And then we will definitely clear from the outside as best we can. And we'll make it three. Okay, that's cleared. Back up on this. Alright, so... Can't really tell where he is yet. We'll go ahead and keep moving up. Okay, this is sort of a center fed. It's very close to this wall. I don't think anyone else is going to be in right there. I'm going to pull him back up. We will get a flash around this corner. Flash out. And then we'll run the rabbit. So, number one is going to push across, immediately checking this way. Number two will come to here. Okay, is that the last guy? I think that's the last guy. Alright, so, turns out you don't have to make contact with the VIP. We can just do that by killing all the bad guys in the compound. So, that's probably going to be our method going forward if that's an option is we're just gonna have to kill everyone um, because there's no way we can sneak in here with just two guys so we'll go ahead and watch our replay so we try and clear out as much of this dead space here as we can we know we see this guy here uh, we start to pie out the front um, and then get towards some cover here we have Bremer throw the grenade rather than him so that his gun stays up uh, while we're moving across and then we decide that we're going to clear the top of this structure first. So we're going to send Cobra across. And he'll start working on that door. Um, Brimmer is watching our back if anyone starts to come up. So once we get that door open, he, he will take the point while he watches from behind. He's going to continue to watch our rear while we slowly snake our way up. Again, we want to stay as far off of this piece of cover as we can. That's going to give us the best angle to see out here the most deep without exposing ourselves. So we're able to clear out this first bit. Now he's going to pick up on this threat area up here. 
and we'll go ahead and start to bring Bremer back up to us uh, because we're going to have to jump over this uh, sandbag. So we do a little bit more of a center check, see that there's a barricaded gunner there, and we don't want to mess around with that. But we definitely don't want to give up our rear security. So Bremer takes some rounds there, Cobra's still okay. Holding. Now we jump over this uh, sandbag. We feel like the most threat would be coming from this direction, so we're going to hold here while our guys come over, and then we can re pick up our rear security again. Like I said, with only two guys here, uh, we're going to have to make some sacrifices in some places. There's no way to do do things by the book uh, when you've only got two guys. So we'll take this corner. And we finally see a way into the building. So we're going to go ahead and bring two bodies up. So he's going to hold on this window and door. We're going to get a frag on that propane tank just to cause some chaos. Uh, we then decide that we're going to get a frag into this room. Can't really tell what all else is in here. So the frag goes off and we start to push, push in a little bit. As we do that, we want to check that window um, and we hear the door open. So we're able to turn back to him. Same deal here. Doors open. Now we've got an easy way into the structure. So we can actually see quite deep through here. We'll put plates on that window as we make entry. Um, and again, we've only got two guys, so he's going to continue to hold forward while he takes this room. Uh, we let it breathe for a second. He's starting to run out of ammo, so we get a fresh mag in. Take a couple more guys out, and we're ready to abandon this part of the structure, and we'll move forward. Um, the only option here, because of these tables and chairs, was for him to come in this direction as opposed to running the rabbit, uh, which is fine. So he's going to hold our coverage here while we do a one-man clear on this small room, which worked out well for us. Try and clear as much of this as we can without Watch making out. entry. Toss a flash, and then we run the rabbit here. Get two muzzles up, and we end up taking out that uh, machine gunner. So that's the last one, and that's a successful mission. But hopefully you guys enjoyed. I have a feeling these are going to continue to get harder. So we're really having to take our time and if we're only going to have a couple of operators uh, these are going to be difficult so we got two injuries there um, thankfully we'll have our Jones and Garcia back on next round uh, so if you guys are enjoying the content drop a like subscribe um, really appreciate you guys sticking around so we'll see you in the next one